Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, and today we have a match against Ryze with Storm Raiders. Oh gosh, that's like a pain in the ass. I don't know if we can actually kill him, to be honest, just because... Uh, oh, oh, by the way, before I forget, OP.GG, Runes and Masteries will be on the screen right about now. And like I was saying, I don't think we would be able to kill him, just because when we actually get on him with our Bork, with our Merc Treads, he's just going to cast a bunch of spells on us, and he's going to run the hell away really fast, even if we have a slow on him, so... This might just be a farm lane, to be honest. Like, if I was to take Ignite, I could actually just cheese and kill him early. And I think, now that I think about it, that actually might be the better option. But, you know what? Since we already opted into Teleport and this playstyle, we're just going to go for it and see how we do. Just get the maximum amount of farm we can. And then, later on, we're just going to split push. Hopefully, we can split push against someone other than Rice. But yeah, he's actually a Cancer lane. Just absolute cancer. Because he does so much damage out of nowhere. Just by having a tier. And he can elapse your entire health bar. So we'll see how we go. But just because of Storm Raiders. I don't think I have much of an option to kill him. If he plays it properly. But we'll see how he goes. And Storm Raiders on like a 10 second cooldown. Yeah 10 seconds. So it will be up all the time. He basically has like a ghost without a cooldown because of his damage potential. First blood. So Ezreal got first blood. That means our bot lane lost already. That was quick. Yeah, I was just waiting for the Kha'Zix to jump on me and then I'll E away. Otherwise I'm not I'm in no real danger. As long as Shen keeps farming, I don't know why he picked Shen though. Not a really good jungler, especially if the only weakness, actually, the, I, I was actually wrong, the only weakness Ryze has is ganks. So that is actually a weakness of his, because he has no mobility, no escapes. He just, he's just like a glass cannon, but except a really strong glass cannon that can run really fast just because of the Storm Raiders. So if there's a gank that comes, like, potentially we could kill him. Otherwise, no bueno. Yeah, so also if I stand near minions, I take a crap load of damage, so I have to just stay away from my own minions. Or I could get chunked almost all my life, like, just farming under tower. Okay. Pop a potion here. So we're gonna get a lot of free AD because he just blew all his mana on us. So... Yeah, our Q gives us AD when we're low health. I think in lower elo, the Ryze might be a bit more greedy, and they'll go for a Storm Raiders. Uh, not Storm Raiders, they'll get Thunderlords instead. So he already went for the Teleport. Interesting. We don't need to Teleport just yet. Oh my god, I didn't get that. Wow, okay, I guess the 10 AD actually makes a huge difference in between getting that CS with the spin or not. Interesting. I don't think this guy goes out of mana now with his tier. What? That hit me? Wow. I think I have enough regen to tank one more wave. Once I Q heal like two more times when it pushes into my tower. I'm gonna ward this bush so that he doesn't abuse it later. I'll just be in EXP range, that's the most important part. As long as you're in EXP range, you're good to go. If he's distracted up there, I could sneak in a CS. Otherwise, just stay back and farm because Ryze is a pretty cancer counterpick to Trindamir. And naturally, counterpicks you really just can't do much in lane, that's why it's a counter. Maybe the TF could actually use his ult later on, and that would be huge. Like, if he was to ult the Ryze, I think we get a kill. Especially if I have ult as well. Ouch. Wow, he really wants to get me low so that I can't stay under tower. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to get this anti-dive ward. Not, not that it really saves me or anything, but I'll get an early warning to just back off. If the jungler actually comes. 
Oh, he's just being really annoying. Okay. Damn, I wasn't able to edge that with E. Okay, we get the vast majority of it. That's good. Also, I just did my little Q heal trick with my crit. So, I still have the crit chance. I start the auto attack and I Q heal. So that I get the crit off. And then I also get the heal and I get like 25 fury or... No, no 15 fury. I think 10, 10 fury for a crit and... Oh yeah, 10 fury for a crit and 10 fury for a CS. So actually that will be 20 fury. So yeah, that's the little trick you can do. So you get that extra bit of fury. Very nice. We're still in lane. We're full health. Just because of that Doran shield. It's really nice. Really good against Ryze. Oh my god. Unless he starts doing that to me. But we are running him out of mana. Slowly but surely. Oh god, that hurts. So yeah, definitely need to get that Merc soon. Nope, not that one. Was not meant to be. This one though. Okay, he's missing again. I'm practically full health. If I hold on to my E, I should be able to get out if he runs at me. I think he went back home. So yeah, this should push into the tower. It should. Oh my god, it's going to be close. Oh, that's just outside tower range. Wow, unfortunate. We are going to get some magic resist. Wait, I actually regret it. I should have, I should have, instead of the control ward, I should have got the refillable. I'm so used to already having the refillable. And I only realized that the moment I stepped out of the fountain, so I couldn't undo. That's so unfortunate. Oh, nice. That's five bot, or four bot. So, it's definitely a kill. If that, if the TF could actually teleport or use his ult for the rise next, like we can easily get a kill. Next ult, we can kill rise. I'm just letting the TF know that you know rise's only weakness is a gank. So if TF can actually come for a gank, that will be awesome. If not, no big deal. I can just keep farming. But if he comes, that's definitely a free rise kill. Especially if he gets the yellow card off. I can just stick onto the rise. But yeah, we're making the best out of this counter pick. There you go. So the dream here is to get the Merc Treads into Bork. And that probably still won't kill him. So... Yeah, Ripperino. Actually, thinking of... Speaking of which, if it won't kill him, I might as well get the Static Shiv then. If I get Static Shiv, and then I get Black Cleaver, I'll have enough mobility to potentially kill him anyway. So I think actually, change of plans, that's probably the better way to go about it. Since he has Storm Raiders, I'm going to change up my build. If he had... If he had the Thunderlords, I would go for my regular Bork. I'll just go for Bork against most ranged matchups. But since he has Storm Raiders, uh, there's no point of getting Bork anymore. So we're going to try the build that I'm thinking of. And see how it goes. I think the moment we get Black Cleaver, we should be able to start killing the Rise, Because we'll have so much mobility from the CDR. Oh my god, I just want the cannon. Can't even get that. Oh, they're flaming each other. I kind of missed it. I wonder if the TF responded to me. That's what I was thinking. Uh, did he respond to me? Like my earlier suggestion for ulting top. If he did, that would be so awesome. I mean, if he did respond positively, that would be awesome. Uh, if not, then rip. I'll find a way myself. In solo queue, that's all you can do is... If you get counterpick, just find your own way. There's always a way, guys. Always a way. Especially if you play Trindamir. Every matchup is possible. Ooh, that hurts. Alright, he's actually backing off. I guess the Ryze is scared. He thinks that a ja uh, jungle gank's coming. Which is really good for me. Uh, okay, that TF is ulting to do absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. 
free kill. Damn. If that TF actually ulted top instead of bot, uh, it would have been a free kill on the rise. Especially because they, he got absolutely nothing from using his TF ult. Unfortunate though. Okay, Ryze is teleporting. I don't think Ryze likes to freeze. I just know they like to just spam their mana into the wave. Am I getting ganked? Or is he just walking up because he's Ryze? No, this gank... This gank's not gonna work. He's not gonna stand next to the bush. And I don't have items. If TF comes... Nice. Uh, okay. What? There was no way we could stop that one. I don't know why this to uh, the TF is actually being toxic for no reason. We're actually like in a really good position. I don't think he should be toxic at all. If if TF could just ult top once, it's a kill, guaranteed. I would go in right now, but I just don't have the items. I haven't shopped yet. Or else this is actually a really good time to go in. I might be able to go in off of this wave though, pushing back to him. But I think I might just go and buy. Okay, he's missing. I feel like he went back home because he's not in a comfortable position. Oh no. Wow, he's brave. Wow, what the heck is that shield? It just, it just ate everything. Alright. I'll just pop a ward here. See what we can do. Looks like my team wants to come and do something about it. But I don't know if they can. Okay, nice. Oh, I don't I don't have slow. That would have been a really nice slow if I did. Actually my team is just a Braum and a Shen. It's actually no threat to them. Hmm. I'm not a fan of this right now. I think our team should just ignore top and just go and take those two towers at bot and mid. That would be infinitely better, I reckon. Okay. I don't know about that TF ult. We're going to make the best of it. Or the most of it. Oh, what the heck is that? Interesting, interesting. That <laughs> that Ezreal though, pretty lit, that flash. Oh, I'm coming. We're diving this guy. 1000%. Oh my god, he's so low. Nah, can't. He's way too far. I, I don't have upgraded boots yet. Okay, this tower's ours. Very nice, we survived the laning phase. Good job, we beat Ryze one on one. Well, we didn't beat him, but we out CS'd him. And that's a victory in my book for this matchup, to be honest. That's a very big victory because we do outscale the Ryze very, very confidently. Okay, so we're gonna go for our godly build, which is that into Black Cleaver. I'm gonna get some AD, or else I'll just do wet noodle damage. I'm, I'm deciding between top or bot. I'm just going to go mid first and get this pushing. Okay, I think this tower is dead. It's like two autos away from dead, so I'm just gonna let them take it. Nice, that's a dead Ari. Hello, cutie pie. Oh, okay. We can do this. Oh, okay. Uh, Ezreal's taking my crap. And Akazik's down there. Okay. If Shen is going top, I'll, I'll push mid with them. This is a perfectly good trade. Very nice. Mid is free. Alright, we dodged his hook. I don't know about the Braum using his Q under tower, like that's pretty suicidal, especially against the Thresh. Nice. Oh, okay, if that Ezreal was slowed, I would have flashed over. 
100%. Very nice. So we're just participating in all the team fights and getting all the KSs, so that's pretty cool. Alright, got the W on her. Not that it slowed her, but... Oh, it did slow her, what the heck? She actually turned around then. Very interesting. Ah, uh, no. No, not like this. The hype train. Let's go. Ah, very nice. Beautiful. I'd like to say that I body blocked the charm so that the TF could get the kill. See, if I didn't do that, she would have got away. Or at least she would have lived a lot longer. Alright guys, we're putting in work. Versing a counter pick. Versing disgusting rise. Get to do all this. Get this buff. Please. Please Thresh. Thresh isn't coming. Awesome. What the? I was supposed to auto not walk away. Alright, nice. So, we don't have our tower alive. Mm, yeah, we don't have our tower alive. I'm not keen on doing Rift Herald just yet. I'm going to go back and let this push in. Wait, is this isn't even pushing. What the heck? How did how did Ryze do that? I guess it's pushing now that he's here. But yeah, we're going to go and catch this wave and push it a bit further. Then we'll back off because we're not going to kill this Ryze just yet. Not without a Black Cleaver and being overextended. So, we're also going to keep our eyes peeled for any TP ganks we can get. This is really well watered, Jesus. We have like a Christmas tree light all over around their jungle. It's lit like Christmas. I don't think the Ryze can just kill us straight up, especially if I'm still I'm in this position, so I should be fine pushing this one more. So after our after our black cleaver, I'm going for a bork. And that should be maximum mobility. Alright. I'm just gonna keep an eye out on Baron, but I'm going to pressure mid at the same time, so I'm not just wandering around back and forth here and doing absolutely nothing. Like, I'll still be keeping up the pressure all the time. I have TP. I have TP, so I'm going to go and push bot. I'm hoping to get someone to come here, and potentially I could either rotate or... Alright, there's there's an Ari here. I'm going to rotate instead, rather than TP. Hmm, okay, never mind. Nothing to do here. Oh, what the heck? Okay, there is something to do here. Ah... Uh. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything out of it. So just back off. Uh, let me pressure bot and force someone to come first. So I tell my team that I can pressure bot, just let me pressure it first. And then someone's going to respond and then we can do something off of that. Rather than force something right away uh, for no apparent reason, you know? Like, like what's happening here, like the Shen is just forcing something. Wait. Wait, he needs to stop forcing it. I thought he just got away and he went back in. He's, he's like literally trying to die. Okay, rise. See if we can catch this Ezreal. Uh, okay, that's fine. Fine by me. Uh, okay, maybe not that. That's not fine. Alright, let's get out. Let's get out. Okay, he's dead. We need to kill this Ryze as quickly as we can. Ah, oh, Kha'Zix. Wow, he's fast. Got the slow on him. Nice. And the party pooper. I think, yeah, I'm pretty dead here. Uh, damn, I think our team played that really poorly. Uh, I don't think we should have died there or lost there. Because we, I think, uh, I don't know, The everyone's just getting caught non-stop over and over again. So that was pretty mm, dumb. Just getting caught. That's the only reason we lost that. Otherwise, it would have been fine. Okay, I'm going to go and respond to the Ryze. I feel like I can kill him now. I uh, I have 5 kills. I have more CS than him. I'm also 1 level above. So, in that sense, I should be good to go. Well, actually, he does have really strong items. We'll see. I'm going to need to build some Fury first anyway. So, I'm going to push this back. Uh, interesting. 
Does he want to do this? I have my spin up again. Let's see what happens. Okay, not a fan of that. I'll get some fury off of these rocks first, just to prep for it. Because I'm not actually quite sure how strong this rise can potentially be. Alright, let's go. Are they fighting? Hmm. Alright, I can join them in this team fight. I don't know why they're forcing a dragon, especially when everyone's nearby. I'll see if that Kha'Zix jumps in. But yeah, that's kind of weird that they started the dragon when everyone's nearby. Oh, what the? They're still fighting? Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that TF. That TF hasn't been playing really well, to be honest. He's 1 and 6, but uh, he's also really behind on CS. Okay, since they want to go around Baron, I'm going to start pushing mid out and then rotating to Baron. See what we can do. Oh, I really want to kill the Ezreal as well. I feel like that Ezreal is going to rotate. I'll keep my eyes peeled for Ezreal and just turn on him. If not, I can get this tower as well. That's also nice. Alright, I see everyone. Very good TF ult, actually. Good timing on it. I don't know about this Baron call though. This is really iffy. Actually, we have to back. We can't. We can't do this. Definitely not. Kha'Zix is over there. Get the rise first, for sure. Nice, we got the rise. Oh my god. What? I dodged upwards. Damn, I shouldn't have dodged at all then. He actually aimed upwards. Man, I, th I should have committed there actually. I think I should have went all in there. My attack speed's so slow though, it's not what I'm used to. Hmm. This Shen can actually get like two or three kills here. For sure. If he goes on the... No, don't use... I can't believe he just used the taunt for no reason. The TF, oh my god, that TF is actually really toxic as well. We have to mute him. I'm just like, for the sake of our whole team, if we mute him, we'll actually play a lot better because I think he's been really toxic from the very start. Like, especially early game, uh, when I was asking for a potential level 6, you know, ult at top for the freest kill in the world. If he could actually come up top, you know, that would be so awesome. But he actually just end up flaming the team or something like that from, from what I remember. So just mute him and... Especially if he's really that toxic, just tell your team to mute him as well in this situation. Most of the time, I'll just mute him silently. But yeah, we're going to push this out and it's this game's looking really grim though. I'm not sure if we... We don't really have a mid laner that's playing level-headed or playing properly. So I don't know about this. Uh, we have to actually go back home as well once they push this in. This tower's gone. This tower's gone. 100% gone. Yeah, the tower's gone, so there was no point in dying there for free. But we'll go back and try to contest this one. Uh, the Lucian died. Wait, why did bot lane suicide that quickly? There was no rush to fight. Oh my god. Uh... Alright, this isn't what I envisioned. I envisioned them to be alive still here. Wait, wait, why did the Lucian say that? Like, he called everyone on a retard when he just did that. I'm so confused. Uh, interesting. Uh, GG. Okay. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something about the Rise matchup. To be honest, if the team wasn't this tilted, I felt like this was a very winnable game. If the if the TF comes in ganks, uh, so for this matchup, if anyone comes in ganks, 
the rice is pretty much dead. But if not, then you just play it like how I played it. I did not get any ganks, and you know, that's just how you do it. And eventually, you just get really strong with your with the build that I'm recommending. So, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed this matchup. It was a pretty frustrating game for me. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.